here one unedited video i am sharing for the juniors who attempt ureteroscopy when the ureter is very tight this is common scenario this is uh, basically for the beginners if you see here i am entering into the urethra through the 6 by 7.5 ureteroscope which is commonly used when you first see without passing guide wire please do not attempt ureteroscopy in the beginning however experienced guide wire passage is essential because ureteric orifice entry is important now i am passing the guide wire here when you pass the guide wire if the ureteric orifice is overly elevated like this probably you can pass the ureteroscope see now i am turning the ureteroscope 180 degrees to the opposite direction like this like this and then entering this is because of 5 degree angle of the most of the ureteroscopes in the if you enter like this uh, sharing effect will be there you have to turn externally without turning the camera hold the camera and ureteroscope you have to turn in that case entry into the after passing the guide wire pass the guide wire also as high as as pull as high as uh, uh, possible even though these are basics uh, when i was doing this case i have faced uh, the problem that's why i am sharing the video so now i am turning uh, this is recording that's why we are doing this is see is everything is without moving the camera everything is turned and then entered slowly if this you cannot enter stent and come out that is the first point sometimes uh, lumen will not be seen you have to go laterally now the lumen is seen see the moment you see here the orifice is uh, small for the 6 by 7.5 scope immediately your mind says that upper ureteric stone better to stent even then how to go in this small orifice is preferably better to not to go but with experience if you want to go little bit of front and back movement directly going the ureteroscope into the lumen is not at all acceptable front and back movement if you do like that gently it will cross that now once you cross it that even then if ureter is uh, see gently front and back movement it is done after that see uh, see the fold these folds are very dangerous so first is ureteric orifice is not uh, freely admitting scope second is one fold is seen and third is uh, uh, ureter is okay at this stage i felt that we can finish but upper ureteric stone migration into the kidney is common so you should be prepared for rirs for that ureter should be much more accommodable see one more fold is there these folds uh, can be straightened by merge maneuver or by guide wire and guide wire should be thick 0 0.035 uh, no problem see here also i negotiated i have seen the stone now after that i am realizing that the scope is not at all moving totally snugly fitting what can i do laser i cannot control if the scope is so tight i i push back rirs i cannot do it so far all the juniors at this stage do not get tempted for the ureteroscopy or rirs because there are two kings and very tight ureter while coming out also don't come out without uh, uh, with removing the guide wire keep the guide wire there only see i am i am trying automatically ureter is becoming little red that clearly shows that it is very tight this is unedited video of 5 minutes see like this by this time uh, the stone has gone already up that means uh, you don't have choice to do rirs in this case if you do rirs stricture of the ureter can occur even without using the laser that's why pass a stent and come out there is a 3.5 french stent goes into the 8 by 9.5 wolf ureteroscope directly you can pass the stent without passing the stent without passing the guide wire don't come out sometimes that also may not go because of these kinks these are all very basics because ureteroscopy is the uh, bread and butter surgery for the urologist and it is the commonest surgery for urologists and any injury uh, the morbidity to the patient is very high see i am passing through the ureteroscope only uh, the stent uh, 3.5 french with closed end with guide wire 0 0.025 uh, soft end even hard end is also not very uh, very rough that's that small size guide wire this is see now it is ureteroscope is not coming it is tight so i am moving front and back 
front and back front and back half of millimeter so that the grip at one see grip at one point of time will loosen otherwise if you come continuously back like this entire your ureter can get avulsed so uh, dear friends if the ureter orifice is tight if the ureter has kinks if the uh, upper ureteric stone is there do not hesitate do not feel bad to put the stent and come out after uh, two weeks phenomenal dilatation will be there surgery becomes easy rirs can be done stone free rate will be high thank you